session is titled the UNESCO Chair Panel. As uh, those of you who have seen our conference program, you must have seen that uh, we had two UNESCO chairs as speakers, Dr. Rajesh Tandon and Dr. Rajni Naidu, to be moderated by Mr. Aditya Malkani, South and East Asia representative of the Association of Commonwealth Universities. I would uh, really like to now invite um, Dr. Aditya Malkani, rather than further ado, uh, to introduce himself, to talk a little bit more about his work, and then introduce our uh, UNESCO chair speaker for the session. Uh, Mr. Malkani, over to you. Thank you so much, uh, Dr. Mukherjee, uh, for that wonderful in opening comment. Uh, Colleagues, a very good morning to one and all. I'm certain you've enjoyed this morning's inaugural session as much as I have, listening into expert views from wonderful colleagues from academia and beyond, many of whom I must say are close associates, collaborators, and partners of the Association of Commonwealth Universities. As Dr. Mukherjee said, my name is Aditya Malkani, and I'm the South and East Asia representative at the Association of Commonwealth Universities, a global universities network with over 500 member institutions in 50 plus Commonwealth countries. And I must add with nearly two thirds of our membership in the developing world. As we begin today's session colleagues, I have one unfortunate announcement to make, which is that unfortunately, Professor Rajni Naidu will not be able to join us today on account of a family health emergency. Uh, but we will, of course, have the great pleasure of listening to Dr. Dr. Tandon's wonderful comments. Uh, before I introduce Dr. Tandon, I just thought I'll take this opportunity to say that the theme of today's conference and the focus of today's session is very, very closely connected to the ACU's own mission, which is to build a better world through higher education. At the ACU colleagues, we believe in the transformative power of universities for individuals, for communities, and nations. And all of our work is testimony to this mission. The ACU's approach to building partnerships is equitable, sustainable, and focuses on strengthening the capacity of our member universities for the long term. We believe that there should be a tangible and lasting change as a result of a partnership whether this is in the area of teaching, research, student and faculty exchange, or collaborative education. At the ACU, we do our best to promote knowledge sharing and knowledge democracy through our university networks and communities of practice in climate resilience, peace and reconciliation, higher education and the SDGs, supporting research and human resources in higher education. These networks and communities connect nearly 2,000 colleagues across our membership, providing platforms for staff and students from universities around the Commonwealth to share ideas and best practice, and indeed to build partnership. The Asian region is one where we have nearly 250 member institutions, with 150 member institutions based in India alone. Our esteemed hosts for today OP Jindal Global University have been such a strong partner in delivering our mission in India and indeed across the Commonwealth. It's really been a pleasure to work with colleagues at OP Jindal, Professor Raj Kumar, Dr. Mosby Mukherjee, and countless others uh, in doing what we do for the benefit of higher education and for students and staff across the Commonwealth. On this note, and